Você não passa de canal pra mim! I'd killed more cops than cholesterol, and still no sign of Becker. It wasn't the first time it dawned on me I should probably have gone over the plan in more detail. But it was too late for that now. If I didn't hurry, Becker would be long gone. AUP. Those were the guys who jumped the yacht in Panama. And what was this? Had the Brazilian cops tipped them off about the money? Sal Paolo's own David and Goliath. I'd pinned De Silva as a coward, but he'd risked more than anyone, and he'd never taken a bribe. I still didn't know how I'd gone from drinking myself numb in New Jersey to looting corpses in Brazil. But this was where I was, 5,000 miles from a home I couldn't go back to on another suicide mission to clean up a mess that wasn't even mine. I'd spent my career dozing off in the briefing room. Now wasn't the time. The CS were all but out of business in Sao Paulo, and suddenly Becker and Victor looked like local heroes in the war on crime. They'd really gotten their money's worth outsourcing their problems onto me. My old pal Serrano. We'd both been unwitting clowns in this sorry circus. Part of me hoped he'd made it out of that hotel alive. I didn't recognize the guy. Maybe this was the new slum king De Silva had talked about. A throne never stays empty for long. Fame at last. It was no great surprise I'd made Ufe's most wanted list. I hadn't done much to improve the reputation of Americans abroad over the past few weeks. And there they were, my illustrious employers. Three dead and still, every chance I'd go four for four. None of this was gonna look good on the resume. And I was in good company. 
Howl Passos, sent up north to find a washed up gringo who would act tough and play dumb. Boy, did he ever deliver. starting to feel as if I'd never leave that place. Like one of those nightmares where you keep running and running only to discover you're chasing yourself. Nothing I was gonna find in there could make a difference now. I had all the evidence I needed.
tear gas. This wasn't good. I needed to find a way out of that stairwell and fast. The bastards had me locked in. This was a waste of time. The doors were all locked. There had to be something else I wasn't seeing. If I didn't do something soon, I was going to be crying myself to a very long sleep. The bastards had me locked in. Yes, this wasn't good. I needed to find a way out of that stairwell and fast. My eyes and throat burned, but at least I could breathe. I was trying to work out what direction I was headed in when I discovered some more Brazilian architecture not designed for the American physique. There it was, the tape from the Bronco security system. Jesus, it was that guy. I had seen him in the favela, Bachmeyer, Becker's right-hand man. His time would come, him and Becker. I'd seen enough. It was time to bring this nightmare to an end. O seu dinheiro representa o seu futuro. Mantenha o seguro com o Banco Boitatá para sua casa, o seu carro.
couldn't get that tape out of my head. Why had Ufe killed Rodrigo? I wasn't going to find any answers in the forensics lab. I had to push on. I don't think we've been properly introduced. I know who you are. Then you should have killed me in the office when you had the chance. There's still time, meu camarada. and still nothing to show for it. It felt like I was detaching, that maybe this was revenge for something else, something buried deep in the past. Rodrigo, Giovanna, Passos, everyone who'd meant anything was gone. Like so many times before, I'd found myself alone, locked on a course of destruction. It was at my worst when I was at my best.
It was time to get out of that circus before any more clowns showed up. They had their body armor, I had mine. I felt like I was going around in circles, getting further away from the truth. I had to find my way out of there. <laughs> 